Good morning. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of technical talk about what goes into building the fuel pumps. As I, I did a little video the other week that spoke about the ALDA and how the ALDA system works, I want to start getting a little bit more technical and getting into the into the depths of the pump. Now I've been asked by various people to show you know how phasing, how calibrating works, and all that kind of thing, and that's no problem. I can do that in due course. Um, the phasing and calibrating is only going to be relevant to people that have a test bench. Um, I will still you know show the general public how how to do that. That's not an issue whatsoever. But like I say, it's not something you're going to be able to do at home. So I thought, well, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we do in these pumps as well, just to give you a bit of background and insight on what goes into them. So here we have um, the flyweight assembly for the governor. Uh, and basically how it works, obviously it's centrifuge. As it spins faster, the, uh, the centrifugal force pushes the weights out, and it actually forces these two um, small levers. It pushes them out onto, this is a, a governor assembly, it pushes them out onto this. Now, this has a, a bearing on the back of it, and it acts against the whole system inside the governor. So, it's not when you rev up a fuel pump, when you rev up one of the pumps on these things, it's not a case of you just literally pushing that and it moves the throttle lever and it moves the fuel rack. It actually kind of bounces off the position that the this, these flyweights are acting on this, and that is kind of what the governor system is all about. Because if you think about it, um, without that, what would happen as the RPM increased, uh, it wouldn't stop and it would continue going up and up and up and your engine would explode. And to, to combat that, obviously as the RPM increases, this pushes out more and more and more and more until it gets to like a, a sort of plateau point where it's pushing so hard against this that no matter what you do with the throttle lever, it's not moving the actual rack. You just look around here, you can see this is what actually moves the rack. And when there's no pressure on this, when there's no pressure on that, that moves uh, you know, fairly freely. And as that pressure increases, obviously it pushes that back and stops the actual the fuel in being able to be increased with the throttle lever. So it's kind of like a chain reaction. Anyway. Governor system aside, going back to the actual flyway itself, because you've probably all heard um, some fuel pumps that are uh, 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 and got idle issues and things like that. But as you can hear, still got that 8 mil diesel mechan pump fitted. The onion, yeah, yeah, yeah. That can be a few things, that can be down to governor settings and, and different elements and things like that. But a common thing, if the pump's standard, is where in this system. And if you look here, you can see where over the years, as lots of pressure's been applied on this point, it's actually worn just that side of the bush. And you end up with a huge amount of play in that. And you tend to find the one opposite it, because that one's pushing on this side, that doesn't wear as bad, it will have some in it. And then again, if you flip it around on the other side, you'll find the one that has the pressure point that has more wear in it than the one that doesn't. So, Bosch, don't sell this, uh, but don't sell a, a, a repair kit for this as such. So, we get these small bronze bushes made, um, which are a custom made piece, and they're a very, very strange size. They're a 0.1, like 7.01 or something bizarre. Um, and they get pressed in to these halves, so we've got these little aluminium tools and that allows us to press them in without damaging them. Now, there is, it is a little bit more complicated than just pressing them in as well, only slightly more complicated, in the fact that the ends of these flyweights are crimped. So if you actually push that bush in too far, even though the crimp may be only a point one, it tightens the shaft and then it doesn't allow the governor to work properly, it actually jams the pin. So, this little device here sits in the end and it stops that bush, it has a little step on the end, and it stops that bush being able to be pushed through and then crimped on the end. So that then allows us to have a really silky smooth uh, shaft fit, which is perfect. So that's what we do, and that's if, you, uh, if you've got you know, issues of that nature, 
then this may be a, a fix to resolve it. And in time, I may sell this as a kit, like a governor repair kit. Um, I'm trying to make, obviously, all these things more accessible and more possible for people to do. Um, so the things like this that aren't actually available on sale, um, we're slowly making them and producing tools so you can put them in and pump builders and what have you. But a little bit of insight into the, into the flyweights, so the governor system and how it works. Obviously, it's a lot more complex than that. Um, and at a later stage, I'll go into a bit more depth uh, about the special uh, equipment that we've made to help phase uh, these pumps as well. Because obviously, we've, uh, we've had to simplify that process because that was quite antiquated. So it'll all come in time. Just little bits. I'm just giving you little bits. So long.